And welcome back, everyone, to another Who Would Win. It's the Who Would Win for Friday, our standard fare, uh, pre-recorded on Thursday. This one comes with some CJM who asked the question, who would win a fight, Doomsday or Esdeath? It's Doomsday. Good night, everybody. Did it, did it, did it. No. Um, but yeah, it is it is Doomsday. Now, look, Esdeath is a very powerful character. As the leader of the Jaegers and having a uh, Imperial Arms, which is basically demon's blood that gave her full control over ice powers, she can do a lot. She can create waves of ice. Ice. She can actually fly using ice, basically freezing like I think like her wrists and um, ankles and float. She can summon giant ice pillars. She can summon giant ice meteors, basically ice blasts, freeze an entire like a tundra lakeside in an instant. Her trump cards allow her to create armies of ice soldiers with um, that can regenerate with ice or just freeze time. That's great. Doomsday killed Superman. So killed, killed Superman, and that was Doomsday at probably its weakest. I mean, we say he, but Doomsday technically isn't a he or a she. Actually, technically, I guess Doomsday started as one or the other, but I guess because of evolution, because of its evolution, probably evolved just to not have a gender. Because I guess, because if you, I mean, if you have nads, that would hurt. So eventually, he evolved not have nads. So we'll call Doomsday a he. Most of us call him a he. Uh, but yeah. The weakest version of Doomsday we ever saw beat the hell out of Superman, admittedly a weaker version of Superman at the time, who's still stronger than about 80% of heroes out there. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, durability-wise, there's nothing as this could throw at Doomsday could that could even hurt Doomsday. Even if she freezes time with her trump card, which she could do that, and he's not immune to time stop effects. To, to, uh, like, maybe he could, like, slowly move through that, but, it, it, well, actually, it's the way the time stop works is she's actually freezing time with sheer cold. That's actually how the main uh, hero, I can't, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, <clears throat> actually was able to hurt her within that space because his Imperial Arm was able to um, actually resist the cold. That's why he was able to move during that time stop. That's how that works. Doomsday is more than immune to any of these kind of effects. The best thing I could say is maybe, maybe, she could freeze some of the moisture in his body and just, you know, cause him to stop moving for a little while. And maybe freeze him completely. However, he would just come back. Unless you can completely erase his existence, you can, um... Or, um, you can, like, send, basically send it to the end of times, how they eventually defeated him, initially. Uh, you can rewrite his DNA. That was one of the tricks I, fi I realized you could do, because it's, all of his evolution is in his DNA. But if you could, in theory, rewrite his DNA, then you could get rid of all of that power. Now, some people might, and, uh, because that's, spoiler, in the Apocalypse versus Doomsday fight... That's actually how I managed Apocalypse to beat him. That Apocalypse, being a genius and being able to do that with mutants, would in theory be able to rewrite an individual's DNA. And, you, and the argument that, well, Doomsday would just adapt. No, Doomsday adapts to things that he can survive. That things that would kill him, he would survive against. Uh, he has an immense healing factor, all that. But to just rewrite your DNA isn't like a, isn't killing you. It's just rewriting the DNA. As long as that what you're rewriting isn't lethal like initially lethal then that would his ability to survive that would not play a factor sadly this is all moot because as death does not have that ability uh so as death i mean as death could probably keep doomsday at bay for a while i will say that as death could probably freeze him in a gigant gigantic gigantic pluck of ice gigantic gigantic pluck of ice and if it's big enough he might have some trouble getting out of the ice for a while and maybe get thrown into like deep space or something but ultimately uh, he could just he'd just come back so there is a theoretical scenario where she would beat him but it would only be a temporary uh defeat and if she can't get him into orbit like throw him into space to get him off the planet she would have to continue to just make the ice bigger and bigger and bigger so he couldn't break out of it because if he's just frozen in a giant block of ice that's maybe a little bit bigger than him, oh, he's just going to snap right out of that. If he, let's use my thumb for scale, if he is actually, if my thumb is Doomsday, and he's in a block of ice that big, let's say the screen is the block of ice, 
then he might actually have trouble getting out of the block ice because there's so much he has to like break out of. That said, this is an individual who can go toe-to-toe with Superman in strength, so take that for what it's worth. Ultimately, though, my money would be on Doomsday um, if you if you were to, you know, do a versus, like an actual animated versus fan vote, all that, my vote would be on Doomsday, personally. But it's just my opinion. Maybe you think differently, and if you do, that's cool. Let me know in the comments below why you think differently. But until then, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. I'll catch you folks later.